Hi. Last night, Matt and I watched the um, season premiere episode of John and Kate Plus 8. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that we're fans of that show. And probably because of, well, we don't have multiples. We have five children. And, and it's always, I try to watch as much as, or read as much as I can on raising large families to um, get the help. Because like I've said, they don't come with manuals. And so anything I can glean from Super Nanny or... John and Kate plus eight that helps make our life more enjoyable and our family um, run more smoothly. I, I'm always up for. And so last night I, I walked away from that episode sad that and what I saw with happening between John and Kate and it was no great surprise and you know splashed all over the magazines and tabloids right now and what's going on in their lives. That, and it had not, and it wasn't a great surprise to me either because it I had noticed and had mentioned to Matt that she Kate has a has a well what I call the parenting her husband kind of syndrome about her which has always really bothered me in women and and um, and actually came home to roost about three years ago in our marriage um, we had we've been married 20 years. And at that time, I'd been married about 17 and had reached a point in our marriage where we, it looked like things were not going to continue. And out of desperation and a whole lot of fear, I could tell Matt was ready to go. I said, let's get help, if nothing else for the kids' sake, which was a good thing because that was his hook. <laughs> and he agreed. I think probably, if I could be so bold, with not thinking probably there was a whole lot of hope that things were going to change, but he would try it anyway. So we ended up going to a counselor for our marriage, and what was revealed was astonishing to me because one of what I what he first started us out on was how we communicated, which was lo and behold, I belittled and demeaned my husband because my communication style was parenting. And that blew me away because I'd, I could see it in other women, and it always really bothered me. And I'd even mentioned it to him several times about, oh, they're just calling him their other child. And However, um, when I saw it in me, it made me broken and sad. And the other thing that we learned is that men tend to, um, when women push like that, tend to, withdraw and not talk, right? Right. Yeah, they kind of internalize it. And really, I don't think a lot of the time that the woman even knows what's going on in the guy's head because he doesn't really, can't really, most guys can't argue as well and can't discuss things as easily as women. And they, I think they feel like they're not being heard. And so they... Um, they shut down, basically are quiet, and it just builds up and builds up the animosity and the anger and builds up until they get to the point where it's like, I'm out of here. You know, I'm I'm not going to put take up with this anymore. And that's when, basically when they get their voice is by saying I'm gone. You know, and you know it's sad. It looks like that's what's going on with John and Kate. You know, and he just finally got to the point where he said I'm gone. You know, there's, I'm sure there's other things that play in there that we don't understand about right. being in the limelight and all of that, all of that stress of that. But I mean, the, it looks like the, that might be the main thing or one of the main things about it, you know? Yeah. So we immediately had to start working on how we talk to each other. And mostly that meant he had to start talking and I had to start listening and it was hard and it was hard not to be defensive and and we had to really relearn skills, but it was good, and it was, it was what our we knew in our hearts was right for our marriage and for each other, and what we surprisingly had both really longed for. And it's been hard to do that. It's been hard to relearn those skills, and are relearning those skills as we, as we go along. But we just knew that it was important to continue and. And fortunately, we saw right away some good results, right away, that I think mm -hmm. kept us moving forward. And, and while the communication thing was the surface, there was stuff below that caused the way we communicated and responded to communicating with each other, that we still 
that we had to work on and are still working on and have to work on. Otherwise, the communication piece is just a, a quick fix and will rear its head again and again. And, and we've, one of the things that I've always believed learned fortunately when our kiddos were really little is that the best way we can love them is to love each other and be willing to work on our differences and that's how we can best love them and and I know at the end of the show last night they both John and Kate uncomfortably said we're in this our priority is the kids and I'm hoping that they get help for their marriage and prove that that what they say is really true yeah I agree Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.